morning big day today off to london this evening i'm going to the uci champions league track at the uh, lee valley velo park on the old olympic park so that's going to be fun but in the meantime i've got to get to london and do some uh, of the nine to five work so i'm going to visit one of our retail stores those who don't know i work for a company called tanita and we do uh, body composition monitoring and uh, technology to measure health and so on so i'm going to visit one of our retailers i'll show you when we get there uh, and also going to have a networking event um, with some of the uh, the key influencers in the fitness market so let's crack on we're at the station <laughs> I've not been in London for actually probably over a year now since all the lockdown and all that kind of things going on so it's the first business trip into London I've done for some time and uh, yeah it's nice to be back although I don't miss the tube at the busy time I'm just about heading to this first meeting with this first retailer let's crack on Harrods <laughs> It was a great meeting at Harrods, really good. Our products are going to be going in there. I think in the next two weeks, apologise it's noisy down here, but I'm running late now and I've got to get over to the Olympic Stadium or the uh, Lee Valley Stadium, as it were, for a few meetings with uh, a few companies in the bike industry before tonight's Champions League. feels a bit like uh, one of them like day in the life vlogs but uh, but anyway so I made it I'm here at Stratford now I'm over at uh, now London Park London Stadium Olympic Park whatever so you can see we've got the swimming center here as well the orbit what's now a football ground but obviously it's still the London Stadium and tonight we're heading over there for the UCI Champions League track uh, round series I don't know what way fourth round or something now so it's be fantastic it's great coming here because there's quite a few of our professional devices with my nine to five job with Tanita as well and I'm actually down here really because I've got a networking event um, with a load of leaders from the fitness industry here as well so a number of individuals from different brands and also some of the leading clubs in the UK uh, it's got like a secret society called the collective I guess it's not a secret society it's on Facebook but there you go so I'm gonna get that done first couple of hours networking thankfully it's in a nice restaurant up the road and then like I say looking forward to working or seeing some of the guys over at uh, the Velo Park later on Morning, so sorry I didn't get a chance to record last night. I did also try and record at the, the velodrome for the at the UCI Champs, but it was just way too loud. It was a fantastic atmosphere there last night, but just too loud to do any recording and talking to camera. So we're back home Saturday morning, very grateful. Emma gave me a lying, so I think I got back home about 2.30 a.m. from London, up to the north in Stoke, where we're based. This morning, I'm guest riding for the Racing Without Borders team over on Zwift, I think this is the second race in a series of four so i needed to be on this morning so let's crack on and get that done
So basically that's what happens when you have four weeks off the bike. But uh, it's funny because middle of the season, middle of the well, middle of summer, and I was still doing a bit of swifting. I was thinking I'm going to move up to an A category, but <coughs> the way that went today, I'm definitely not ready for that. But we're going to get out on the road tomorrow, first time in a couple of weeks. We're going to get out and do two or three hours on the road. So, because I don't want to spend all winter in this uh, garage on Zwift. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.